glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Old school versus new school. Power and ISO versus pitch and catch. Get the athletes out in space. These two teams have contrasting style, contrasting philosophy. One team obsessed with time of possession. The other one could care less about it. Who establishes its tempo will be a key today. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. becomes the battlefield for this matchup. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Ball has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. From the eight yard line. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 36 yard line. The Sooners offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays for over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. They'll bring him down at about the 35. That makes it second and two. This one's going deep to the end zone. Swatted away. Almost a touchdown there, but that is a stellar play by the corner to get a hand in and knock it away. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Gets out to around the 22. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. it up the middle for a nice run. That'll make it second and four. Back to the running back and he gets nowhere. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Third down again. Around the 24 yard line. Smith tackles in the backfield at the 24 yard line. That makes it fourth and 12. So they're going to go for it here. Tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Mike, 55. Right there in the middle. 55. Let's go. 
screen in here. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Makes it to the 25-yard line. From their own 21-yard line, third down. Fires it out. He gets hit out of bounds, right around the 40. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. They get nice yardage on that run. That'll bring up second and three. Watch the run, watch the run. Here we go, here we go. Quick strike and he drops it. Defense looked like it jumped early there. Offside. Defense. They got across the line oh, a bit First too down. soon. Give the quarterback some credit here for using his cadence to draw the defense off sides. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. The delay gave the back some room to run, and he was able to pick up about nine yards. around the 43-yard line. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He's on the run. He's at the 30. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Kill, kill. Green, 15. Shoot, shoot, shoot. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job, but really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. 
Miller from the four. Across the 30. The 50. And he's brought down at the 46-yard line. North Texas is in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-0, North Texas. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, second down. Three down, three down. Hey, check right, check right. He scrambles. And he hits him hard at the 27. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it third and seven. Holmes gained seven yards with a catch there. That makes it four inches. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Third trip now into the red zone. Nice run up the middle. I really thought that the ball was going to stay in the quarterback's hands, but he made a really smart decision to pitch it out. And now they've got another set of downs to work with. Slings it out and it gets tipped. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 14. He has some room. Touchdown Sooners. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 46-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Oklahoma kicked this one off. Nicholson takes it at the four. And he just got drilled. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Play action here. He's going to scramble. Decides to slide. on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Oh, 
He got nailed on that one. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He makes it to the 45-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Good speed off the edge by the sophomore to come up and make the hit. They make the stop at the 44. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Makes it to the 34. Quick throw. And he's taken down around the 26-yard line. yard line not a real fancy play here just a smartly run route good protection and a well-placed ball most times you don't need much more than that first down 10 yards to go ball on the 16 yard line runs right for a nice game he kept it himself and picked up about six yards Oklahoma's gonna have to use their second time out of the half the Sooners wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. Here we go. He'll keep it on the ground again. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. One of the things a quarterback's looking for before the ball is snapped on a post route is to see if he has one safety in the middle of the field. Because with one safety, you can use your eyes to move that safety and then throw back the other way for the touchdown. I thought the quarterback that time did a really good job of managing that safety and eventually making the throw for the touchdown. Everyone's all up and ready for the kickoff. Nicholson from the four. Tackle made at the 23. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Throws a bullet over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 32. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So it's first down and an eternity. scramble down he can't get away from the pressure I think that one's on the offensive line they've got to do a better job of holding their blocks or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game going long almost intercepted It's third down and a long way to go. Ball on the eight. 
And they'll bring him down behind the line. Good, solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. The Sooners using their third and final timeout. Bourne awaits the snap. Miller fields it at the 38. They'll bring him down at the 28. Robertson's been known to be such a great quarterback, but when you sit down with him in person and you look at him, you see that smile, and he just sort of exudes that confidence that you want in a guy that's playing under center. We saw that this week. Absolutely, Brad. I can remember earlier this week when he walked out of our meeting, I looked over at you, and we just kind of, kind of nodded our heads in agreement that this kid kind of has that it factor that you look for from quarterbacks. Obviously, he's very talented, but I think he has the confidence that you're speaking of, and I think he just brings the intangibles to the table. And, and so far, how can you not be impressed with everything that he's done? Well, he's had it in the first half so far. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28. Oklahoma is up a score. And he throws it away. And the offense is still on the field. Three down, three down. Hey, check right, check right. Ready. Green 95. Green 95. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 28-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. So our score, 21-7. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They come out in an empty backfield. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at about the 41. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First and ten. Ball on the 41. He's going to try and scramble. Excellent open field tackle. Call it again at 12 yards. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Here we go, here we go. Easy, easy. Swings it out there incomplete. Yeah, any time a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and you move on. He lets it fly. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Well, we've played a half of football. Oklahoma's in front by 14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. 
to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Let's not get too carried away by the numbers, but both of these teams averaging less than six yards per pass. It's an indication, it seems, that maybe there's not the personnel out there that really scares this defense, that can really stretch the defense. Yeah, we talk about it all the time, having those big-time speed guys and those playmakers on the outsides that, that really make the cornerbacks bail and take away the deep ball. And they're not scared right now. They're just squatting on the outside and saying, you're not going to run by me, you're not going to throw it deep, and all I'm going to do is try to make sure that you catch the underneath stuff and wrap you up and tap you. So somebody has to emerge as a playmaker, and you have to find the playmakers down the field to make some big home run plays. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. From the seven, he's to the 20. He's out to the 30. Taken down by the kicker. Oklahoma's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That makes, that makes it second, it second and two. Roger, roger. Mike 40, Mike 40. Heavy, heavy on the edges, heavy on the edges. Go, kill, kill. Go. They go to the ground game. Tackle made at the 48. That makes it first and 10. 22, 22, eyes on 22. He's scared. Easy, 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 nine. Jim, Jim, Jim. Nine. Makes it out to about the 40. That's a game. That makes it second and two. Easy, easy. He's scrambling. Ball is loose, fumble, and they fall on the loose ball. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Oh, here we go. Oh. And two. Now he's scrambling. The ball is loose. They fall on it. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble, and this ball will change hands. Fumbles will absolutely drown an offense. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Offense lines up in a five wide set in the defense anticipating pass here. Bounds at the 23-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Caught with room to work. The defense scoops it up. a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Quick throw. And he's tackled around the 31-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Three down, three down. Here we go. I got eight. I got eight. I got eight. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Green nine. Yellow three. Yellow three. Yellow three. 
taken down around the 30 yard line. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. They'll drop in for a loss. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he's stopped before he even gets going. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Seven yard line. That's a game of two on the That brings us to the three. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. It's away. Short punt. 21 yard punt. Out of bounds at the 32 yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He might have a chance. He makes his way to about the 42. That'll make it second in inches. At the 48 yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Here's the handoff, man. He's taken down for a loss. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. 21 7, sooner. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Throws in the middle. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. Third down. on the run decides to slide Hester gets three yards on that scramble looks like they've decided to go for it here he 
scramble. And he's taken down at the 30 yard line. Fires it out. Brought down around the 21 yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it second and two. it out to maybe the 20 yard line Game one yard. That, that makes it first and ten right, 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 right. three down, three down. on the delay and he carries the ball for a nice game Here's the call from the referee. Delay of game, offense. Possibly some miscommunication there. They can't get the playoff, and it'll cost them a few. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Just under three to go in regulation. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Delay game. Awesome. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. From the 24-yard line, third down. He throws a dart to the right. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. three-yard line. Second down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Quick strike and he drops it. So the offense stays on the field to attempt this fourth down from the six-yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And he's immediately tackled. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. 
Rico at the three. The option gets him a yard at best. North Texas is going to use their first time out of the half here. Second down. They're deep in their own territory. He gets out to about the six-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. North Texas is going to have to use their second time out of the half. made at the 23. The screen play worked that time for a decent pickup. Yep, you're right. Excellent call to go to the screen to maybe slow down this defensive pass rush a little bit. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 23. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Football of your quarterback. Take a knee. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game 21 7, Oklahoma. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.